What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It's day five here. It's actually day like five and a quarter because yesterday we were finishing up a few odds and ends from our last project and Pat was here staining. So we've got all the rafter elements stained, ready to go. He's finishing up this last beam here and then we can start on the pergola, but it's gonna be tough to finish today, but I think we can do it. Pat, what do you think? Pat seems confident, so make sure you hit subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Stay tuned. So we got our ledger locks into our pergola here. And you can see the most important thing here is finding studs that these go into so we get a nice secure connection. So we found the studs. We have all of these locked into studs so that ledger board isn't going anywhere. And that's really important when you're doing a pergola because at the top of the wall, you're not gonna have a solid rim board to go into. So you really need to make sure you find those joists and that they are sinking properly. Pat, what do you think about that? Yep. How's staining going, bud? What? We've got our hangers pre-installed here. These are the Simpson Outdoor Accents. Nice concealed hangers and we're starting to hang them up. Looking beautiful. We've got these two feet on center and we pre-stained everything. So it's gonna look really nice. We'll get all these up and then we can start overhead with our purlins. We have all of our inside rafters all installed. Pat's working on staying in the very last two. So for right now, we're gonna start cutting our purlins for on top. They're gonna to be spaced pretty close, about four inches apart from each other. And unfortunately, this is 18 feet and we can only get two by four by 16s in number one. So we're gonna to have to seam those, but we're also gonna have that polygal roof on top, so it's not gonna cause any issues with strength or anything. It's just gonna add a tiny bit of time because we have to cut all of these, and each purlin is actually gonna be comprised of two pieces. So it's gonna take a little bit longer on the install, but shouldn't be a problem. We also got stairs here. That can start being wrapped. And Wrap it up. We're gonna to finish today? Yes. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How's the standing going? Day six. No, it's day five. We ran out of water 14 days ago. <laughs> I've just been eating Canyon Brown. That's all that I have left. We're gonna start finishing off the top of this deck bar here, and we're gonna do this with the Costa board. So we'll be getting that going. Be looking real nice. Look how nice this looks. I can just see people chilling here, enjoying some nice beverages. So next, we're gonna put up our last two rafters. And on this side, we have two by 12s going in so that our two by twos on top will intersect with the top of that. So we're actually gonna do a double rafter on the end. It'll be two by 12, then a two by 10. So our two by twos will go on top of the two by 10. Two by 12 will cover all those ends. So it'll look really nice and clean. All right, let's see, this is the last piece. Got him. Hey, buddy. How's standing going? <sighs> last two pieces, though. Yeah, that's what you said last time. <laughs> How you making out? I don't know. The demand from what you want from me, day in and day out, it's really just wearing me down. I come into work and I try to lift myself up and there you go again, beating me down. It's this endless cycle of abuse and punishment. And I just really don't know if I have the mental veracity to deal with it anymore. I am losing my freaking mind here, Charlie. Losing it. All right, it's time to start throwing up some purlins here. We've got this end all installed and you can see and we've got the two by 12. So right here, this is where our two by two is gonna end. 
I'm gonna be screwed down into this, but from the outside, it'll look nice and clean. So we're gonna start throwing these up. They're about every four inches on center, so it'll be really nice close spacing. It's gonna be pretty sweet. First thing that we're gonna do though, you can see some of these are kind of bowing out. So we have a two by 10 here. We're gonna rip this in half. Oh, look, look at this guy. That is amazing. So we're gonna rip this in half and we're gonna use this two points across here to get everything nice and straight and then we can start laying our purlins in. You like that word? Purlin sounds very regal, very class. Whoa, that was pretty cool. I've never actually seen that. Straight line. <laughs> He's being coy. It makes me feel like a <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty sweet. Put the pencil there, use that as a guide. I've never seen that before. That was cool. We're now starting to install our purlins here. You can see we have this two by four up here and we just screwed that down. We marked out our rafter locations on this so that it can straighten everything out. Now we're just using spacers, cut little blocks so we can just use these and screw it in as we go. Since we have it set up like this, shouldn't take too long to get it all down. We couldn't get 20 foot two by fours to rip for this. So you can see we're gonna have to seam every other one. We just staggered it on both sides, but uh, we're getting there. Just a couple more boards and we'll have this pergola wrapped up. Get your close number. Down 62? No. Look at that. 61. Got just about all of this installed. We just have to go back and fill in every other row on both sides with our little splices here, which are about 20 inches. And uh, yeah, it's looking damn good though. Damn good. Ace birthday's tomorrow. Yeah, half time, 35. 35. Yep, okay, well, it's looking sweet. Well, it's the end of day five of a five day challenge and uh, we're finished. I can't believe we did it. We finished, everything's done. Well, we actually didn't finish. We're actually not that close. There's still quite a bit to do. Pat, do you think that's, do you think we failed? Um, Are we failures? No, we still got paid. Um, I got paid. So I think we accomplished what we wanted to do, which is get paid. Okay, well, that's one way to look at it. The real failure would be if we had taken shortcuts to definitely finish this in five days. Uh, that would have been a failure. I'm still considering this a victory because I'd originally slotted about seven days for this anyway. And uh, you know what? It looks like it's gonna take about seven days. Five days would have been amazing if we were really like just killing it and everything went perfect. We could have maybe done it. So I'm glad that we set our sights high because you know, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Michael Scott, Wayne Gretzky. Anyway, stay tuned for day six. It's still looking amazing. I think we got about one more day on this thing. So make sure you hit, make sure you hit, make sure you hit subscribe to catch day six. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.